Hello, this is your girl Pam. Um, let me go ahead and drop this quick nugget for you guys. Um, when your benefits stop flowing, so will your user friends. Now, I know plenty of y'all know people that have used you. You know what I'm saying? When you was giving them stuff, especially if you letting them borrow money or just giving them money or, you know, they free riding and, you know, from you, you know, getting stuff from you all the time and, you know, not having to pay it back or, you know, just being able to use you, you know, the benefits, you, them being able to benefit off of you. I had that happen to me so many times, you know, and me trying to be nice, you know, giving people the benefit of the doubt and all that or whatever, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be a blessing to some folks, but you just got people that will take it overboard, put it to you like that right there. They, they'll use you, they'll take it overboard, they'll, you know, um, pretty much, it's, it's like you're their personal piggy bank. You get what I'm saying? So the thing about it is as soon as you decide that you want to stop doing for them or stop helping them, then they decide that uh, they they leave you. You know, they don't want to be your friend no more. They stop calling. They stop talking. They stop doing all of the above. But that's the thing about it. When your benefits stop, then your friends will too. Well, your user friends will too. But you'll be able to tell which ones are your user friends by testing them out. Honey, just stop giving them stuff just stop doing stuff for them when um they keep calling and how much i need this i need that or they calling saying come pick me up and come do this and come do that start telling them no and see whether or not they stop calling you if they stop calling you baby you might as well go ahead and erase their number but uh like i said i've had that to happen uh, on several occasions especially with me um you know doing hell and it's uh certain people that i know like that, that didn't have the money or whatever to pay and i know they was in you know certain situations or you know they was getting ready to uh do an interview or something like that and you know they need they are done you know i don't mind you know i know you know that's sort of the purpose and the point of you needing your hair done you know so you can go to the interview or whatever you know look your best and stuff like that for the job but see the thing about it is once you start getting the money in and you stay to come to get your hair done and you know you decide that you don't want to pay excuse me you got a job you getting paychecks now i'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to start breaking me off with the price that i charge you know what i'm saying now i'm being nice trying to help you out but you know if, if you seeing it as, okay, well, I know she'll do my hair for free, baby. No, I didn't have to go. I will hook you up at least two times to help you out. But I'm not finna see and just keep doing doing you for free. That That's not how that, that, that go. Uh-uh. Because, see, I used to do massages and I used to do nails. I used to do all that or whatever. But a lot of stuff I cut out, I stopped doing. But, uh, like I said, I know a couple of people. I used to do celebrity hair when I was in the shop. Okay? It's plenty of rappers I used to do and, you know, like, plenty of actresses and models and stuff like that or whatever of course they don't live here now you know they moved on to the west coast or you know to new york california whatever you know so they can pursue their career but at the time um uh, and this was like between 2002 and 2007 um i used to do celebrities hair but the thing about it is i didn't you know sort of care the fact that they were celebrities as long as you paying me my money i didn't care you get what i'm saying um I'm not saying no names because that's just not me. Uh, I'm not putting nobody out there. But uh, the thing about it is with doing, um, you know, their hair and stuff like that, um, some of them were able to, like, afford to afford it. And some of them that was just, like, on the come up or whatever, they were not. And some of the ones that was on the come up, you know, they came back, you know, left me great big old tips. And, you know, you know, you helped me out, girl, or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Cool. But I know a couple of them or whatever, they thought that just because they had a name now that they can continue to, you know, use me or get discounts and this, this, that. But, but no, nah, that ain't how they go. That ain't even how that work. But, uh, and at the time, I was considering some of them as friends because, you know, they had been coming to me for a while or whatever. But, um, my thing is... Um, like I said, I, I know a lot of other people, you know, like I said, that I helped them out or whatever at the beginning. And then when they started getting this money, they, you know, thought that they were going to continue to get the discount. Or they thought that they were going to continue to get their hair done for free. And that's not how it go. Or, you know, I'm not even going to go that route. But anyway, like I said, that was the nugget for the day. Like I said, if you got user people, user friends that you giving stuff to and you doing stuff for them, you know, giving them money or giving them stuff for free. Or like I said, they pretty much hanging on to you because they know that they can benefit from you without having to give you anything back like i said test them and see whether or not they're really a true friend and uh if they decide to uh, stop calling and, and talking to you and stop fooling with you because you're not giving to them anymore then you knew that they were a user but uh thank you guys for watching like share and subscribe i love you and peace